If you're applying to a dental program this cycle but feel like your application is missing volunteering experience, here is why you're not actually required to have a volunteering experience and how extra unnecessary badly put volunteering experience can actually hurt your application. Dental schools are looking for a well-rounded person. They want to see that you actually care about other people and you have high ethical standards. If you have a ton of volunteering experience, nobody's going to tell you anything bad about it. But if you have never volunteered before and you think your application is not competitive enough because of that, I can guarantee you that it will not hurt your application if you have other parts of your application that are competitive enough. It's a very common mistake that your application have to have everything that is possibly available for dentists to take, that it has to check every single box. That is not true. Many people are held back by the fact that their application doesn't have the full package and instead of applying this cycle, they're waiting for the next cycle until they can actually get some volunteering experience, which just wastes their time. Dental schools are trying to see your commitment to the field of dentistry and to serving others. You can show that commitment to them not just by volunteering, you can show it through other ways. For example, if you have a busy schedule right now or in the past when you work 24-7 in hospitals and juggle different jobs, if you have research experience, trust me, you do not need any volunteering. You have enough proof that you are interested. Your job experiences in and of itself prove that dentistry is what you want to do and adding some extra volunteering experience is not really going to do much to your application. Another way that shows commitment in dentistry is academic successes. Dental schools really want to see a high GPA and we all know that but that in, in and of itself proves that you know how dental schools work. They know that this is the time that you have spent studying and you didn't spend it volunteering. That's okay. You don't need to feel like that you're missing something from your application because you you have that box of commitment to dentistry fulfilled by your high grades. In fact, if you have an application like this with strong academic values, adding dental related volunteering could actually make you seem a little bit one-sided. They may think that you are not as interesting as a person, that all you do is study, plus you spend your free time volunteering for dentistry, they may consider that why would I add this person to my community? What is this person going to bring if all he does is just studies and just focuses on this dentistry bubble? They're trying to find a person who is going to enrich their community, who is going to participate in other things in life. So in fact, for people like that with strong academic values, if you're trying to improve your application even more, adding dental volunteering experience is probably not going to be a good idea. In that case, much smarter move would be adding some personal experiences into your application mix, like sports or uh, extracurricular, extracurricular activities that can actually show that you are a well-rounded person, that you have other interests in life aside of dentistry. In this case, adding dental related volunteering would only hurt your application or at least do nothing to improve it. Another case when adding extra volunteering experience is not going to help your application at all is if you have been out of school for a decent amount of time. If you have a large amount of work experience back in your home country, you have enough of social proof and you have enough of commitment proof to show that, look, I have worked my entire life in dentistry. And yes, I did not volunteer. I did not spend time away from my family that I probably have because I'm a little older than most applicants and I don't need that. Your application in of itself shows that you are devoted to your job, to your profession. And in fact, adding val dental volunteering experience would raise some questions like, why are you not spending time with your family or doing other things? It will make, it will just look a little bit silly. Most of the time, volunteering experience as what we think of volunteering experience dental volunteering can be helpful to new grads. They don't have work experience in their home countries. They can't prove to the, to the admissions committee that this is exactly what they want to do. And they're just trying to add something dental related to their application. In that case, volunteering can actually be a good help. This way you're showing your commitment to serving others by including dental volunteering experience to your application. You're kind of answering the questions of the admissions committee, like why is he going through this? Does he really need Needed, why not choose another career path and actually spending your time doing dental volunteering or any community service will improve your application and answer those questions that you are actually committed to helping others and you see yourself in dental profession. But not all volunteering experiences are created equal. There are actually cases where adding some kind of volunteering experience may drastically hurt your application. For example, if you don't have a work permit in the United States, 
you don't have anything else to do but volunteer your time because you cannot be paid for your work. You may be volunteering in a hospital or in a dental clinic. When you put this experience on your application, schools understand that you're not doing this out of the goodness of your heart. They understand that you just have pretty much nothing else to do. In this case, you're not really hurting your application, but you're not helping it either. Admissions committee is probably just going to see it as something else. It's not going to be a relevant work experience in the US. Again, will it hurt your application? No. But do you need that experience? Will it improve your application drastically? Also probably no. Another similar example of when a volunteering experience really does nothing to your application is one of those cookie cutter experiences that I see all the time checking personal statements when people write about their mission trips in a way that literally everybody else writes about them. Don't get me wrong, mission trips are wonderful and it's amazing that you spend your time going and helping the underserved community. It's wonderful that you did that and it will help your application if you spin it in the right way. But tell me if this sounds like your personal statement. A lot of people are writing sentences like, I delivered a denture to this older woman and I saw tears in her eyes and I realized how much weight my profession carries and how much I love serving the underserved. Did you write that? When the admissions committee sees some phrases like this, I, I swear there are multiple people who write literally exactly the same things. It's always tears in, your, in somebody's eyes. It's always the underserved community. It's always helping people or something like this. It's always similar phrases. When the admissions committee sees something like this, they just basically glaze over this. They discard it as something they've seen a million times. They are not interested in reading it again because Again, everybody writes it. It's a cookie cutter application. So you just wasted that valuable real estate that is not occupied by anything else. You basically talked about this important experience that you could have turned into something very interesting and you put, put it in an empty space. So now I'm reading through it and I'm like, oh, okay, I know what it's talking about. And I just skip to the part that something, when something interesting comes. So in this way, did you help yourself by adding this into your application? No. In fact, you actually made your application more boring because now you seem like a million other people. And this is exactly why it's so important to show your experiences that are probably similar to many other people because we all kind of go through the same path. Spinning them in an interesting way that nobody else has presented is that important. By the way, if you did write that in your application and you don't actually know how to fix it now that I said that and you're all freaked out, don't worry, I actually started offering consultations. It's a one-on-one -on -one personal experience when we talk to each other on Zoom or whatever kind of platform that's convenient to you and we go through the problems of your application that you feel uncomfortable about. I sit down with you and we spend time actually reviewing your personal statement, giving practical advices on how to fix it, talking about any other aspects of your application that you are uncertain about, checking your cap, checking your CV and building you up for success. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the description and DM me on Instagram. That's probably will be the fastest way to contact me and find out about more details. Another case when adding volunteering experience will actually hurt your application is when maybe you don't have a work permit in the United States and maybe you have a friend who has a private practice and maybe that friend allows you to volunteer for him and maybe money just somehow appears in your bank account and neither you, your friend or the government know how they appeared there. That happens not to none of us, of course, to some other people, to a friend of a friend who have done that before. We only heard about it. But if that friend of a friend writes that dental assistant experience as volunteering in their application, he's not fooling anybody. Admissions committee have seen that before. If he says that I had volunteered as a dental assistant in a private practice, that's a terrible idea because we all understand that people get money for it and that's an illegal way to work. That will actually show you as a person of a poor moral character and that will put your application in a no pile right away. Another terrible mistake to do, by the way, with the same dental assistant experience is to add it as a relevant work experience in the United States because it's not a work experience. If you don't have a work permit and they know you don't have a work permit because you're applying for a student visa, they see that you don't have a residency status and you are stating this working as a dental assistant as a relevant work experience in the US, they realize that it's not actually true. So you're lying on your application 
and that is figured out really quickly. So if you have that, if you have that work experience, spinning it in the correct way is, again, very important. So we all pretty much have the same career. We all graduated, we all worked for some amount of time, and now we moved to the US. How do we stand out? And we all have these similar experiences. So spinning your application in the right way is becoming absolutely drastic. If you do actually volunteer your time as a dental assistant somewhere, I would much rather not say that it's volunteering, but spin it as shadowing experience, because shadowing doesn't carry those negative connotations. Shadowing actually puts you in a higher position than a dental assistant. It shows you as a doctor who is interested in a work of another doctor. It shows that you're interested in how dentistry operates in the United States, that you want to spend your time there. And besides, if you have enough hours of that you know, dental assistant that you did there, that shows your commitment. That shows that you're a person who can come to work every day and be at the place where you're required to be, even if you're not paid for it. And other experiences that can actually hurt your application are also not related particularly to volunteering in and of itself, but again, the way you spin it. I cannot tell you how many applications I see when I check CAPIT applications. They say a name of an institution, usually in a different language for some reason, that's a whole different bag of beans, but one, just one name of an institution and in the description of the experience it just says volunteering. It does have a good amount of hours, like it shows that you're you are committed to some kind of volunteering, but you did not describe this experience. So volunteering of what? There are a ton of questions that can arise and you really have to, if you're putting in anything in your application, you have to make a very good effort to describe it and make people understand what you're talking about, what kind of volunteering this was, because if you did not describe it at all and just said volunteering or if you did and i'm exaggerating a little bit but you know if you did not describe it particularly enough this shows the lack of detail oriented thing that we all want to see and we want want we all want to say that we are detail oriented but here if we are not actually in practice attentive to details we just proved a negative point about ourselves so if you are putting this volunteering experience to your application that's actually hurting you so either describe it well or leave it out altogether if you have volunteered and you have described your experience pretty well but you don't have enough hours like all of your volunteer experience was eight hours in total or one day in total or you were there on and off and you weren't there all the time you were kind of coming in and coming out so the hours are inconsistent that actually shows your lack of commitment so dental schools are looking for people who will show up to the dental school when they're accepted who are reliable people so if you put in volunteering experience or frankly any kind any other kind of experience into your application but don't describe the hours of that volunteering experience well or there's not sufficient enough of hours, don't put it on your application. In this case, this will be applicable to people who are just looking for any kind of volunteering just to check the box that they have volunteered and they end up with like six hours of volunteering and that's it. And that is not doing you any favors. Another issue with adding volunteering experiences and not reflecting on them in any other part of application can also actually bring you down in the list of potential acceptance letters. So for example, if you're putting a volunteering experience, even if it's significant and well described in the um, section of your experiences, but you never address it in your personal statement and you just basically what it says is I volunteered I have it I checked the box insert volunteering experience here it doesn't really matter to admissions committee that you did it again they see that you you have checked the box you technically do have it but it doesn't really show that you reflected on reflected on it it doesn't show that this experience was meaningful to you so if this wasn't meaningful to you and you didn't address it in any other part of your application why would you even put it there in this case that volunteering experience would be completely unnecessary so you don't need to have it in your application and you will be much better off without it Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. It has been a while, hasn't it? I have not made videos in a very long time, but I'm back. I'm back strong. I'm gonna make, be making a lot. So, as you probably heard, my shameless, shameless plug, I am starting new consultation services. You probably have heard that I've been doing uh, personal statement checks kind of on the side. Now I'm committing. Let me work with you. Use me as a resource. There's all of the details are in the description. The best place to reach me is either through my email or through my Instagram and we can schedule the time together and discuss everything. This is really one-on-one -on -one experience thinking about you, working with you as a person, 
and I would be very happy to talk to you guys. So please check the description down below. Also, please subscribe. I'm trying to raise this channel up to more subscribers than it has now, so don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And another important piece of information, my husband, who is an immigration lawyer, sort of, who is an immigration law student, started a travel agency. So if you need any advice with visas, any kind of application to any kind of visa, any, I, you don't have any idea maybe about immigration to the United States, he would be a great resource. He's just beginning, so bear with him, but do check his Instagram and website down below in the description. And I will see you in my future videos. Bye.